morning everybody hope you're great hope you're fine it is january the 2nd and it's uh for some it's a new year for some it is another day but all in all it's another great time to review the books and see what we can learn check what i found out this is a great great book it's mind map a story by tony Buzan ford by dominic o'brien the complete guide to learning and using the most powerful thinking tool in the universe. Looking at the back, it says, use the universe's most powerful thinking tool to be more creative and successful than you ever dreamed possible. Remember anything, pass any exam, get promoted, manage your time, have great relationships, be healthy and happy, plan your dream future. So that will be cool for you. Mind Map Mastery is the most authoritative, clear, and accessible guide to mind mapping ever published. Drawing on five decades of research and development by Mind Maps inventor Tony Buzan, developed both for those new to the mind map concept as well as more advanced users who would like to build on the expertise. This is the one mind mapping book needed on the shelf of every student, teacher, business person, and creative dreamer across the world. Create mind maps at every level from beginner to advanced. Use mind mapping in every conceivable situation. From planning your week and rising for an exam to changing your career path and improving a difficult relationship. Learn what to do when the mind map goes wrong and why it's the mind maps don't work. Explore exciting new mind mapping applications including a two-person mind map for conflict resolution, a mind map for report writing, a mind map to apply design thinking principles and a mind map to help building, help budding offers get published. It's a great book. Shall go a bit through it. Not all of it, but uh, as you've read the synopsis, you can also some of the photos you want to go through. So it's basically about uh, the mind and how it works. How the best way to create a dome using the mind. So we shall look at those images. What about the mind map? This visibility. So check it all out. Yeah. Beautiful how to mind map and all that. So what is a mind map? So that is the page. And this is the contents, not many at all, but uh but what is a mind map? How to mind map? What is not a mind map? So we should find the infinite applications of mind maps. The future of mind mapping. That's about how he's been using mind mapping for many years today. Travel the world, teaching business, professionals, public figures, and entire audiences to improve the memory and cognitive ability in their personal and professional lives. So mind maps are powerful tools for focusing and processing information, formulating a plan of action and getting started on new projects. In fact, mind mapping is a huge guiding hand in every aspect of life and I can't recommend it highly enough. As to preface, you can pause the video and check it out yourself. Why is this book needed? Your brain is a sleeping giant, and Mind Map Master is here to help wake him up. Very nice. It's a new way of thinking. How to build a memory place. Conventional not taking versus mind mapping. That's what most of us do. We take a not linear monochrome. Use words. That's true. List. It's in logic, sequential, restrictive, disorganized. Mind mapping is multifaceted, colorful, words connected with pictures, associated logic, multidimensional, imaginative, and analytical. So, how to use this book?
Mind Map Master will show you how to use this powerful tool in your own life, wherever it takes you. This book is structured so that you can read it from cover to cover and also keep dipping into it as an ongoing source of reference. So chapter one, what is mind mapping? We'll look at the key principles, essential ingredients, and explaining why mind mapping works. Two, how to mind map. Practical exercises, useful tips and training. Talk about the laws of mind mapping. Practical applications. And that's every day at home, education, creative well-being, and memory. I want to talk about what is not a mind map. So clear up some common misconceptions. Chapter 4, Solution Finding. So there's which steps to take if you're trying to create a mind map, but still can't seem to make them work for you. Yeah. So that is the book in a nutshell. If you get the book yourself, I'll just go back into the beginning. So that's it. Look it up over there. If you find it, it's a great book. So let's look at a few ideas. Chapter 1. You will discover what a mind map is, the history, and the relations to the workings of the human brain. Most importantly, you will begin to understand how mind maps allow you to unlock your true potential. So we have whole brain thinking. Left brain, logic, numbers, sequence, analysis, words, list. Right brain, special awareness, imagination, color, holistic awareness, daydreaming, dimension. Of the beauty and impact of this holistic thinking tool lie in its simplicity. Yes. How to create a mind map. Get a large bit of plain white paper, some colorful pencil, pencils, a brain, which is yours hopefully, open mind, which is you, imagination, you, Subject that you wish to explore. So a good mind map has three, three essential characteristics. Central image that captures the main subject under consideration. Thick branches running out from the central image. These branches represent the key themes relating to the main subject. And a single key image or word is placed on each branch. So the steps. Split the paper out. Put it nice in front of you. So you want to draw a central image and activate your imagination and trigger associations in your thoughts. Step two, now pick a color. Draw a thick branch coming away from the central image, like the bow of a tree. Play with a branch with a single word in couple letters. As this mind map is about Shakespeare's play, you might label the first branch comedy to try your tree story. Example is uh, Shakespeare. So that's the central image, as a thick branch, Elaborated comedy, nice and simple, very colorful. So over the branch, you want to give it smaller ones. So now, midsummer, nights, dreams, training, shoe. Add over branches, life, poetry, history, tragedy. So you can add over many branches from life and add. Stratford, where you lived, poetry, this one you wrote history, and about him. Tragedy, Hamley, but back back another one. So, that's the four secondary level shoots. Pick another color. Now you have the two main branches. Step seven you can wish arrows, cutting lines, and mentioning branches to the reforce and connection between them. So, there you are. So, the session ingredients of a mind map is one budget thinking. What's your language? You said the prime language is the human language itself, which is shared by all humankind and is the natural language of babies in the womb. Not the one you speak, but the one we all share. Human language is language spoken by the workings of the brain and is primarily formed by the combined powers of imagination and association with a sub branch of location. In brackets, the importance of location explains why the position of the branches on your mind map helps you to memorize them. So this is an exercise for you to try. He gives you one. So, pick one pineapple. What does your mind or supercomputer give you 
much better with that term because they give you this thing spelled out. So what means come to mind? What associations or colors does your brain give you in one pineapple? So in general, it's words. Try it for yourself. Pick a word and ask yourself, what did you get? How long did it take your mind to work to get this data? What associations did it give it to you? What does come to mind? Which colors were linked? Did it make you think of anything else? So try one more. This is how they say our mind it looks like a lot of links together. It talks about Socrates, how many people think, think, think. Layer by layer. Human language can be externalized, and when it is externalized, it is in its purest form. It creates a mind map. The human brain does not think in two parts, many than this, it thinks organically. So while we use color, color relates to the right hand side of the brain, whereas words are related to the associated with the rational left hand hemisphere. So a combination of color and words engages the workings of both sides of the brain. So color captures attention, greatly improves comprehension, ignites motivation, encourages environment communication, increases the mental processing and storing of images. Make life colorful mind maps. Talk about the images you use. Unlike words, images have an immediacy about them. Visual information is processed by the brain 60 times faster than text. In addition to this, images stimulate the imagination, enriching associations and transcend the limits of verbal communication. There's a powerful one of images. Words. A general mind map uses single words on its branches. One word per branch of your mind map will make your brain really engage with the subject and go to the heart of the matter. It will give your brain a hook on which to hang a memory. A history. To go back from the cave art to the Sumerians to the Egyptians. Ancient Greece. Through that diagram with Leonardo da Vinci. What do see? Charles Darwin of the Einstein of is a reason we should feign him. He's an American Nobel Prize winning physicist. So, mind mapping in practice, admiring words and images, and by mirroring the workings of the human brain in this combination of logical and creative input, the mind map is the perfect tool for our globalized 21st century. So, it's an example of a mind map for planning a vacation. So, let's go for it. Send the image, the vacation, these are the branches. As location, that is location costs, your aims for your village. So location, maybe you're going to go to a city, which city you want to go to, historic or atmospheric beach. They can add on to that if historic you can go to, maybe England has many historic atmospheric, probably you go to the beach or the beach nearby. So you can add on small things over there. If you went to the beach, which is right there actually, but here you can go to a resort, you can name some names of the beaches you want to go. Mountains, there's a village, a remote. See, there are many options. Go to village, choose a mountain range which has a village, or there's no people there. What are your aims for the location? To relax, sightsee, shopping, party. How will you relax? By swimming, sunbathing, walking. Watch the colors. You can put the image as well, or you can put different colors. Sightseeing, galleries, museums, shopping, craft, party, bars, clubs. For transport, how will you go? Plane, train, own vehicle, it's a plane, you can take the planes you want, train, so you wanna go on, pick a train, you train, imagine your own vehicle, bike, car. If you have more than one car, you can put them in the middle of the car as well, more than one bike. Accommodation, B and B hotel, apartment, campsite. So you look for an all inclusive party board that you can add on there to see where apartment exchange rental, campsite, couple van, tent, lodging. So that is a, a picture of a mind map of a case. The advantages of mind mapping is that one thinking using mind map to ignite your brain comes up with fresh ideas and associations and creates a colorful record of your thinking process. Learning mind maps make great study aids useful for not taking during classes and lectures as well as for exam revision. A mind map cuts through the dead wood to highlight the key branches of any topic. Mind mapping means focusing closely to 
on a task in hand, engaging your brain in a way that will inevitably lead to better results. Organizing, using mind maps to, for parties, wedding trips, family gatherings, and even your future life. Planning, prioritize your time on commitments, communication, cutting through the waffle, and communicate with precision. Speaking, dispersive pages of notes by making information available at advance. Leading, create excellent business tools with a setting an agenda, taking minutes to chair a meeting. Training, check out the more the manuals and use mind maps. Negotiating, see all your options, available strategies, and special outcomes that are clearly on one page. Mind maps in the brain, talk about how it works with the brain, internal mind maps. The work you write and your synapses. This is all now neuroscience. Don't write your neurons, the synapses, your brain cells combined to create a form of internal mind map of the space of a situation and enabling information to be retained and recalled at a later date. Just as the mathematics of the brain sell large for infinity, so the mind map is a thinking tool with the potential to expand to an original infinity. Mind maps of who we are. This is chapter 1. 2. How to mind map. For the potential, ask yourself how can mind map and improve my life. I'll begin. I want to talk about the laws of mind mapping. Is the blank sheet always oh, map of the paper? Use images, symbols, codes, and dimension. Select keywords, cut couple letters, place each word or image on its own branch. Radiate flame branches out of the central image. Keep branches from the same length as wires or images in them. Use colors throughout. Use emphasis, arrows, and critical lines, and aim for clarity. And so let's see how to do it. So you want to, as you begin your mind map, consider your objectives carefully. What information in your knowledge you need? The most important seven categories in a topic under construction. Is for a book. What will this chapter headings be? What questions do you need to ask? What, where, who, how, which one? Subcategories. So those are your objectives and basic operating ideas. So your basic operating ideas can also address the following structure, function, properties, processes, evaluation, definition, specification, history, personalities. And you can branch out, make a down, play with words, become a code maker, make connection, use boundaries and chanting. Ensure that never confine your thinking to a linear prison. A good mind mapper remains free. So make your thoughts visible. Feeling stuck, can choose happiness, peace, work, success, choose one of those. Not an item, the greater its special impact, and the more likely you will be to recall it. The development of a mind mapper. Acceptance. Set aside any preconceptions you have about your intelligence, your imagination, or your artistic skill. Application. Once you've understood the laws, apply them by creating as many mind maps as you can. Adaptation of time to develop a personal mind mapping style. Generally, keep a working mind map journal to make mind maps part of your everyday life. And you do that on time. So, key applications. Step one to mind map the six major approaches of mind maps. Branch grows or branches. Start to grow to sub branches. Go applications one branch, sub branches, double branches, also give them sub branches too. And ta da, there you are. Well being, nutrition, function, exercise, memory, home, <laughs> work, education, creativity, and so forth. They take it out, and then you're coming. So that's an example of a marathon. Yeah. Equipment, motivation, obstacles, training, nutrition, plan, timing, all that. 
nutrition, hydration, waste energy, training, balance, equipment, water bottle, energy cells, motivation, fundraising, weight, fitness, tracking crowd, obstacles, obstacles, and all the obstacles. So that's the one for a marathon. Plan your week. This is a good one for those because we always have weeks. We need to plan our days. So week 26. So yeah, that's one for a week. Sunday, Saturday, Friday, Thursday, Wednesday, Tuesday. Okay, I'll look for another one. That's our party. Pause the video and check it out. There's the feelings. Mind map for improving a difficult relationship. Someone who you don't like, your response, feelings about them, help, appreciate, what you like about them. That it really works. Anything is tackled like that. That's amazing. Putting a report. Design, conclusion, analysis, achievements, objectives. So different colors. It's too much your brain, isn't it? Left brain and right brain are both working in harmony. Using the words and the images in each app, making associations and them. Check it out. That's about uh, the map effort and revision. Alright, that is beautiful. I got it from my brain. My right brain is still late already. I feel the right side of the brain. I kind of feel it. So that's a one for project management by Marek Kasparski. What you need to know more creativity. It's most of your spare time. I'm doing the business role, don't I? I remember that one. A lot of work to do. That is beautiful. Well being. Which we all need for most of us. Pressure and happiness, sleep, distress, exercise. Try about yourself. You've got beautiful colors in there. That looks nice. So that's just our conditions. So what is not a mind mark? Right. Bits and misconceptions, you can read that. Pause the video there. Those are the bits, that's not a mind map. I mean, if you can know why, that's not a mind map you will. That's all one evil, that's all one evil. I'll just put on my mind map. This is what you need to check to check whether you're looking at the true mind map. Consider so the following all those. Clear central concept. There's a diagram right here. There is one word per branch. Have any images, color used throughout? Does the mind map clear? Natural, organic, highly visually appealing. Check that out. That is a nice mind map. That is amazing. That is great. Talk about imagine losing the lows. So, solution finding. Perseverance is the key to success. Ask the right question. Find up a good question. Use simple but powerful images. Embrace messiness. Begin your mind map again how you are going to improve it. Reduction guide. Deliver decision. Keep going. Persistence is key in mind mapping. Not you to try and try again. Persistence is the key. Persist, persist, persist. Mind up your worries away. Yeah, that is beautiful. So, mind up on problem solving. So, that's the So, let me see three dates, different colors. That's the green color, that's the effects, negativity, activities, movement, problem, define, who's, why, causes, act, plan. 
Beautiful, huh? very nice, very powerful. Applications of my maps. Those logic. Memory training, confidence, who, concentration, key, and hand applications. It's basically a lot of things. Arranging, all those are there, all those applications for mind mapping. So pick the one you want. I'm going to go for all of them, 99 of them. You can pause the video and check them out later on. So I'm gonna try it here and try to do it myself. Try making a mind map pin entry for today. I'll try that as well. This is a mind map for resol resolving conflict. So resolution. Essential needs. Let's put for the essential needs, clear, attention, honest, want, support, respect, mentorship, large respect, human, solutions, collaboration, plan, define, resolution, those are the keywords, effects, what are the effects, then we have the values, effort, initiative, two more, size and nice, mind map, those want how the skill goes for conflict, so, the mind map. Manish, do it on his career change. Control plan, pleasure, pain, avoiding pleasure. That's a nice one. That's a company vision. Advanced mind map for education. There you are. Advanced mind map for creativity. So you pick a word, find, find your branches, what comes to your mind, and there you go. This is a mind map for those who want to publish their books. Hint, hint. Promote, write, publish, outline, research, plan. Go back to those. Wonderful design thinking principles, test type, ideate, define, empathize. <coughs> nice, isn't it? So that's about it. So that's about to end your book. This is the future of mind mapping. So, Going digital, message of going digital, mind mapping, <coughs> unedited, we backed up, ETC, ETC. Going X, robot laws, that's laws of mind mapping, a provocative conversation. You can read for that. And that's about it. So that is the book of the show. I hope you enjoyed it, because I did. Easy way to plan your day. So, get mind mapping. All your goals, plans, write them. Not in lists, but in a mind map. That bless your brain. Colors, words, couple letters, associations, radiation. 3D images, that's how your mind works. Like a dendrite, synapse, or a neuron, like a branch of a tree. The truths, not a list you can talk to, use, isn't it? So, okay.